five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Everybody, it's the Ramble. See that name? It's Alex. That's me. And we go until midnight tonight, Eastern Daylight Time. Hello to you all, and uh, thank you for joining our little uh, little happy fizzies party here. And uh, we are uh, uh, glad to have you here. Um, in a moment, I'll have a video that I shot today. Yeah, no, no, those little videos where I go around the neighborhood. And then a little something special. It's a new toy that my wife, uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, Linda. Uh, oh, Marjorie. That was, that's her name. Uh, uh, she, she bought something. So uh, I, we, I, I'm sure going to show it to you tonight. Uh, but I can't I can't go out there to show it to you, so I had to record it, and then we will have that in a couple of minutes. Let's go uh, to the uh, to the uh, let's see here to the map. Okay, here we go. There's the map. There it is. Every night that number changes. We are approaching four million people on the face of the earth who are totally confirmed. Uh, and next week are being bar mitzvah. No, are totally confirmed to have had the coronavirus. 3,937,813. By the time we get on here Tuesday, that's going to go over 4 million. That number right there. See my little arrow? See what it's doing? Okay. Now, global deaths. Oh, not good. Wait a minute. I got to go back down. This thing, this thing is just, it, it uh, goes wacko there we go there we go okay um uh, the global deaths are uh 279 276,863 souls lost on this planet uh it is uh you know we're a nice little blue marble and we all live on the same planet together and somehow we don't seem to be able to get along and so the only thing that Gives us a certain commonality. It's a number like that, okay? Number of deaths, 276,863. How many of those were Americans? Well, let's go to the uh, map, and once again, out of uh, 1,283,908 people have been totally confirmed to have the coronavirus in this country, 77,179. 77,179 people dead. And, you know, that president of ours doesn't consider himself culpable for any of that. You know, you know when, you, when, you, when you get a president, you, you think he's going to watch over you, right? But he doesn't watch over you. He, uh, he uh, just simply, in this case, he just simply does what he thinks is best for himself and uh, for his reelection prospects. And that's all he worries about. He's not worried about you and not worried about the whole thing. Now, he's worried about getting the coronavirus. That's his latest thing because the White House is now infected. Anyway, back to the map. Uh, Spain, okay, 26,299 deaths out of 20, 222,857 uh, people who have it. you got to realize, of course, that we, we have it because uh, we are... Uh, a, a larger country, so we're going to have larger numbers. By the way, look down here. See right down here, this this little thing here? See, that's the uh, confirmed, going up, going up, going up. And then it went down. And then it went up, and it went up, and it went up. See, what happened was Spain decided they'd relax their, their, uh, their uh, uh, rules, okay, and then uh, they will relax them there, and then look what happened. That's what's going to happen here. Let's see here. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let's look at our numbers here. See, they just keep going straight up, right? Straight up. And by the way, New York is not contributing to that any longer because today we had only, I think it was 210 deaths, I think, yesterday. 
So uh, you know, we're getting to the point where we're going to we're, we're kind of being stuck in a certain 200 range, uh, but I think that's going to go down uh, some more. Meanwhile, the rest of the country is going up. And what's the rest of the country doing? They're reopening, aren't they? Well, let's go over to Italy. They had a big problem, okay? And uh, they're relaxing their rules. And as you can see here, they're kind of hitting a, uh, they hit a, a plateau here. And they seem to be kind of leveling off a little bit. Let's see what happens to that number in the next couple of days. Uh, 217,185 total confirmed uh, cases, 30,000 201 deaths, okay? We lead the world in deaths, so we're number one. We're number one. I mean, you're right. For a president who's worried about ratings and wants numbers, man, he's getting them. He's getting them, getting them, getting them. Uh, the number that's kind of interesting is Russia, which was not supposedly seeing any cases, is now up to 1,723 global deaths, if you believe them. I mean, because look, this is all Russia, all right? Takes a, it's the largest land mass on the face of the earth, okay? Larger than the United States, larger than China, it's larger than the United States. You could fit about three or four United States in Russia, okay? You could fit about six Chinas in Russia, okay? And they've only got 1,723 deaths. Yeah, I'm kind of doubting that, okay? All right, so anyway, uh, oh boy, I hate it when this happens. This, this thing keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Anyway, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for the map. We got France, they got 26,233. Again, smaller country than us uh, in size and in population. Germany is at 7,510. Um, actually, if you look at France, uh, France's number is higher than New York City, but New York City is higher than Germany's number. Brazil, M New York's got more cases than uh, them. Uh, let's see here. Turkey, um, let's see here. That's not bad. 3,189. Hmm. Well, anyway, that's where we are, folks. That's our... That's what, that's what the map says, and it's kind of sad. Uh, and uh, when we go to the U.S., of course, we got that. Well, let's see, we have a, a map here that's confirmed, and then log, log, uh, logarithmic, I have no idea what that is. And daily cases, look at it. See what's happened, what happened? It was going down, and now it's starting to peak back up again. All right, and why is that? Because a lot of you out there are not following the rules, and uh, it's kind of sad, okay? All right, that's our, that's our map for today. We, we don't need to do anything more with the map. Oh, what, something's coming through on my uh, phone, whatever. Let me see here. Phil is, is sending me a note. What does it say? Union Square at 1.15 p.m. today, Friday. Yeah, it's empty. Okay, Phil, fine. Oh, good. All right. Anyway, uh, that's, our, that's our look at the, uh, at the map. And I hope you enjoyed it as uh, I, I do. Uh, anyway, uh, listen, uh, I took another walk out on the street. I do it about once a week. I, I try not to get out because I'm afraid. I'm really afraid. I'm fearful and I'm afraid I'm going get to get the virus. Uh, and um, so uh, I went back out on the street. Oh, I had my gloves on and the mask on and uh, went down because I had to go to the pharmacy to pick up some stuff. So I thought I'd let you see the street a little bit. This is a shorter presentation. It's only about 10 minutes. And then Marjorie wants to show you her new toy, and I'd like you to see it because I'm so happy for her because she has found something that gives her great joy in this household. I can't seem to satisfy that function, but what she did uh, will. Anyway, uh, I went out today. I uh, took a look at uh, the, uh, uh, the surrounding vicinity, and I was really looking to see how many people were using masks, and I was surprised to see how many morons there were out there. Okay, let's take a trip. Well, 
haven't been out in a week. Got to go down to the pharmacy to get some more prescriptions. But I thought uh, I would just uh, have you take a look at me this way. Okay, here we go. First time out in about a week. Got my gloves on. Got my face mask. And we're ready to go. Let's see what it's like out here. It's raining today, so there might not be a lot of people. Oh, there are enough people. Uh, there's some people with no masks on. That's wrong. Got some masks. Somebody said they should be passing out t-shirts to people without masks that say, I don't care about other people. But uh, everybody's keeping social distance. I would hate to think that I'm going to the pharmacy to get myself stuff that will save my life. But getting there, I kill myself by getting the virus. Big fear, big fear. Anyway. What I don't understand is why some people don't wear uh, masks. Hmm. What I was gonna do is surprise Marjorie by going into the fish store and getting some shrimp, but look at the line to get into the Fish store. I'm not going to wait now. That's a damn shit. Sure. I'm pretty empty inside. Yep. Nobody in there. Hmm. And this is my pharmacy. Where I get my drugs. Wait, let's see what the line's like outside of here. Actually, you're letting six people at a time. Maybe more. I don't know how many are going to come out, but look at this line. So it's all the way here. And then, all the way down the block. How far? Uh, just to the Okay. Well, no, I'm not going to the supermarket, that's for darn sure. Marjorie usually goes first thing in the morning, and then it's uh, kind of safer. Anyway, that's kind of my face mask patrol that I'm on today. And uh, it's a little hard to breathe in these masks. But one thing did happen to me as I'm walking down the street, more than six feet away from me, but close enough to make me paranoid, somebody coughed. That's all they did. And I looked over and they didn't even have their mask on. They had it down, you know. Um, like, I've got my mask, but I'm not gonna wear it. And by the way, while you're passing by, I'm gonna cough. Anyway. Uh, so, that's it from outside. Let's go inside. By the way, uh, look at all the boxes we got here. You know what we do? When we get a box, we disinfect it, and then we let it sit there for a couple hours. Who knows what cooties are on our stuff. And as we go in, Put my keys there, and I may as well put my dark glasses there too. There we go. See, I have the M45 or 95, but I don't use those. And uh, Mar Marjorie is is doing a, a telephone, a, a FaceTime. FaceTime with, with Natasha. Natasha. Natasha, show everybody the cat. What, 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 what? Look, look what, at Berta, what, what? look. There's Berta. Berta. There's Berta. <laughs> She's trying to get out. She's trying to get out. She's on the window. That's the bedroom yes, window. <laughs> That's 
a silly cat. That's a silly cat. Our, here's, here's our lovely dining room. Isn't that nice? And now we go into the living room and guess what's new? I have to put the shoes on. I know you're putting the shoes on. I know you have to put the shoes on. Look at these clod hoppers. There are my shoes next to hers. Hardly ever used. Never been used. You see, here's the thing. She can't go to the gym, and she goes to it about two, three times a week to do her yeah, her, her bike training. What do they call it? Cycling. So, cycling. Well, cycling, but they call it something else. Speed something? Yeah, or? spin. Spin. Spin class. So, she spends a couple of thousand dollars a year on that, so instead she decided to spend a couple of thousand dollars on this. And this company is probably making a fortune. Eighty-six percent right increase in their profits. What? Eighty-six really? percent increase. Let's see how she puts them in here. Watch this. And it goes click, click, and then you do the other one, click, and then she starts pedaling, and then she's got to put in her name, and then she's got. You actually uh, are f familiar with the trainer, right? It's my my sorority sister's daughter-in-law is Jen Sherman. Yeah. And these and, are all her classes. Okay, so put one on and start pedaling. I just want to do a quickie because we're, yeah. I'm not going to put a class on because we're we're doing this. Well, no, but I want people to see how this oh, works. So. Um, all right, here here's a rock ride. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Let me right, let me turn a. So this is it. Yeah. Okay, turn her off a second. Turn her off. Up, up above. Exit. Exit. Okay, and then you can go over here to more, and you have scenic rides. And then there's the one that I like, which was the San Francisco scenic ride. Well, Golden here, Gate. Golden Gate. Oh, okay. This was, well, let's see here. Which one did I do? Which one did I Let me do? get out. I, I, you do this? Okay. But anyway, you get on here, and here's the San Francisco Civic Ride. This is, oddly enough, the route I used to take when I had a bicycle. Wait a minute. View class. I don't want to review the class. Uh, no, no, no. Edit. Delete. Okay, delete that class. Stop. And delete. Okay. I'm very good with computers. I see. Well, here's, here's, okay, wait a minute, let me go back. Um, let me see here. Uh, start. Okay, well, this is, these are the national parks. And um, the, what you do is, is if I just want to pedal through, I just uh, had the, the route from on the, um, what, this doesn't start? Oh, well. Anyway, I was going to show you. Oh, I see, I have to pedal. Oh, there we go, you see. And then you've got something like that. And in the one in San Francisco, it's actually the route I used to take when I did my bike ride every day out to the Golden Gate Bridge. So this is the, uh, how much does this cost there? About $2,400. About $2,400. And then you have to pay like $39 a month yeah. for the classes. But she uses it and uh, she's happy. And if she's happy, guess what? That makes the husband happy, doesn't it? <laughs> Show them what, show them this. What? Your what? shoes. Yeah. Okay, these are Alex's shoes, and hopefully one day he'll get on the bike. I went on the bike yesterday, and I'm gonna probably go on it later today. Okay. I don't know, I may well, or may should. not, maybe tomorrow, maybe the day afterwards. Well, you should. Yeah, you should. And look, her hair's gray. I'm, is, I'm living with an old lady, look at that. This is almost seven months in. You want me to give you a haircut? No, oh, this is okay. seven months in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. anyway. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. 
I'm then, doing it. Then one of these days she's gonna be able to get some place and get some highlights or something put Low in. Lights. Low lights. Low lights. Yeah. So her hair will look really terrific. On you, do top. you like it? I love it. You love it? Yeah. I wish I did it when I was thirty. Yeah. Oh, there's me too. Okay. There you go. Okay. All right, that's it from our healthy home and unhealthy street where nobody's wearing masks. Anyway, I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Anyway, that's our uh, our little presentation for this week. Um, um, uh, it uh, I hope the sound was okay. For some reason, it was uh, it was uh, a little on the loud side, which I don't understand why. But anyway, uh, it's okay. Anyway, let me uh, let me uh, turn these uh, the, the Skype on here. Hold on a second. Uh, it takes a little while for it to get going, and then I got to turn it on so that you all see me as being active. Okay, there we are, and uh, we're uh, ready to take your calls whenever you want to call. You know, let's see who the first one is tonight. Ah, is Brian Neary? Oh man, oh man. Uh, Brian, you always manage to do it. It's a, it's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look look at that. There's a, a there's a uh, there is a, a a sunrise a sunset rather. Uh, let me see if I can go to that just as a single picture here. There you go. Where where what's that? that that's looking out towards where? It's looking out towards the ocean, right? Uh, it's a little bit north of the ocean. So mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so just to the left of that is Santa Cruz Mountains. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it's also, this is in my office, so it's like right between are the soccer games. So there's yeah. no homes yeah. until like either, you know, half a mile away, and I'm going to live and retire here. And we have my rocking chair in the front yard, just telling the kids to get off the lawn and watch the sunset for <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that looks great. Yeah, that's, that's terrific. And then you know when like winter time, you know when all the clouds get on the sky and everything turns pink, it's just unbelievable. So. Yeah, 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 hmm. yep. Okay, well let me wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me um, up, 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 up. let me go three. There we go. And let me see here. Uh, we need. Uh, um, uh, let's see here. Josh Wheeler is calling. Okay. Let me let me start getting some people punched punched in here. Uh, in the number two spot, uh, let's put in uh, Josh Wheeler. Put in, uh, Let me see Josh here. Wheeler. Wait a minute. I don't, I don't see. Oh, there he is. Okay. All right. Uh, nope. I didn't push it well. There we go. Josh Wheeler. Okay. Uh, Josh. Somebody's got their audio up. Is that you? Uh, who is it? Who is it? Is it? Is it Jeff? No. Jeff. No. I think you've got your sound up. Oh, somebody. Who who was it? Anybody? Oh well. Anyway, uh, let me see here. Uh, where where we go? There we go. There's our gang so far. Uh, Brian Neary and Josh Wheeler and Charles Wallace and uh, Jeff. And uh, here comes Kevin. Hog Rider himself. That's that's the name he uses. Uh, and uh, let me go here to uh, where where would, where do I want to put him? Oh, he's already he's already there. He was in one of those spots last night. Uh, the only person that hasn't called that usually calls is, is uh, Phil. But uh, I, I am, I'm I'm not I don't know if I want to answer this. I'm not going to answer a uh, a phone call. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, because it, it it just doesn't play well, you know. And people who call the show um, using the phone, in fact, I may do away with that number, actually, to be honest with you. Uh, the people who do away with, uh, would do a call with that, um, uh, many times don't really get to participate in the show in the way that they could participate in the show if they had video, okay? So that doesn't work. Let's see, scuba diver, there we go, there's Phil. There we go, hi, Phil. Hey. Phil's there, and we're uh, we're ready to go. Guess uh, who died of Corona today? You know that that's a pretty large question to ask, since yeah. you know we have had seventy six thousand people dead so far in this country. Um, um, uh, a master illusionist, they say. 
Roy oh. Horn of Siegfried and Roy died of coronavirus. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Was that the one that got attacked? I, th I think that was the one that got attacked by the tiger. Yeah. You know, uh, oh. I think. I, don't, I, I never could really tell the difference between the two, to tell you the damn truth. Or the Tigers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got to tell you, I've, I saw that act once in Vegas. Anybody ever see Siegfried and Roy? Not in person. We mean not in person. Oh, oh, you mean never went to their show? Right. Okay, well, if you've never been to their show, it, it, it was one of the worst magic acts I've ever seen. <laughs> it really was terrible. Uh, and I think it was, it was either Siegfried or Roy or one of them who didn't do anything. All he would do was, like, point to stuff. And gesture, you know, and the other guy was riding the, uh, the lions and, and, and riding the tigers and basically abusing some wonderful wild animals that should be out in the wild and not in a Vegas showroom. So anyway. Well, he ate one of them. Huh? Yeah. The tiger ate one of them. Yeah. No, he didn't. No, he, didn't. He, he mauled him. Yeah. There's a difference. Tiger. What? The tiger went tiger. Well, listen, exactly. Said. He did what tigers do, okay? <laughs> he does what tigers do, and then they wanted to euthanize him. I think they didn't. he didn't allow them to euthanize him, uh. you know? But, I mean, come on. You know, when a tiger does something like that, don't, don't say, oh, my God, that's terrible. It's unexpected. No, that's what they do. It, it, yeah. what? I sat down next to a tiger once, put my hand right on the tiger's back, and uh, somebody uh, was there, said, you want your picture with the tiger? I said, sure. I had a cougar in my radio studio once. Ah. Did you get a blowjob? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I had a cougar uh, in the studio, and it was a, um, it was a, um, uh, it was kind of, I think it was either cougar or mountain lion, one or the other. I think they're the same thing, aren't they? I don't know. Really? Anyway, um, uh, because they had this thing called um, Africa USA or whatever uh, yeah. in, uh, in, Marine in Vallejo. Vallejo. Marine World Africa USA. And I knew the woman who ran it and ran the publicity for it. And she used to bring me, an bring me animals. And they brought me, a, they brought me a, a, a puma or a cougar or a tiger or something. Uh, so I, I, that was quite a, quite a, quite a deal. How do they keep from peeing and pooping in the studio? Well, that's that's a little bit of a problem. <laughs> you just hope they don't. Yeah. Because I've seen I, it on the Carson show when you know animals have an accident on the set. Well, that was that was that that was great television for Carson. <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely. You know. Oh, look, the lemur pooped on his head. Yeah. You know. Uh, but listen, those animals will poop anywhere. I uh, where what, what was it? Once I had, some, yeah, somebody on my show, and I can't remember who it was. It might have been like Randy Savage. You remember Randy Savage, the wrestler, and he used to have, he used to have, boa constrictors and stuff like that, and he brought one in, okay, uh, which was really quite thrilling for all concerned. Until of course, the boa constrictor took a dump. And the fact of the matter is that they eat, what they eat, their, their prime meal is, is like rats. And there's nothing worse than the smell of desiccated rats coming out of a, coug out of a boa constrictor's um, uh, rear end. And uh, so that was our, uh, our big deal for, uh, for that. And we just, I went, oh, my God, I wanted to vomit. It was just one of those kind of smells that was so bad you wanted to throw up, you know. So has anybody here ever smelled boa constrictor poop? Can't say no. I have. Try to avoid it at all costs. But anyway, so uh, 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 Roy Horn is uh, is dead, and no more sexy than Roy. They are kaput. You know. Yeah, these guys had a. They have a pool. They have a pool for the most the famous person to die of COVID nineteen. Oh really? Yeah, I the I forget who one of my friends blasted me something. They say, yeah, they're this is and this is like a month ago. They said they're putting a pool together and you're supposed to guess the most famous person to die. Actually, so, actually, uh, cool. could this be maybe the most famous? Right. Or are there uh, uh, there were on Sundays on Sunday morning CBS Sunday morning show, 
Mm -hmm. uh, they have every week now a segment where they do a tribute to some of the dead pe people who died of coronavirus. And, and they include in them sometimes a, you know, a, a construction worker or somebody like that to kind of even it out. But there are always famous people in there. But I, th I think Roy Horn has to be the most famous so far. You know. If you're not a country and western uh, fan... Well, oh yes. Right. Who who, who, right. who was you remember, who was that? Oh, yeah. Who was that, Charlie? Do you remember? John Prine. Oh, John Prine, of course. Or Joe you know, Diffie. Who? Joe Diffie. Yeah, I don't think either of them were as well known as Roy Horn. Uh, I didn't know. I'll say that in Nashville. Hmm. <laughs> no, but I, I'm saying yeah. that I, I would say that Roy Horn was probably more universally known because everybody made jokes about Siegfried and Roy. Um, <laughs> than any of those people. But, uh, you know, the uh, most famous person who's going to get it, eh, die of it, eh. well, it's hard to say. But I think yeah. a couple of a couple of, pe couple of people in the world. Trump or Pence. What? Yeah, <laughs> Trump, Trump or Pence. Trump or Pence. Yeah. 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 Some people in the running. Some new people in the running. Yeah, it's hit the They're right on the now. list. <laughs> I, would, I would be willing to bet you that there, have been, there are more cases than that in the White House. Okay? Yeah, yeah they... They went into a big description of the West Wing, you know, how mm -hmm. there was a driveway Small. in the back side, and they said how everybody's still stacked up there, you know. And Alex, you asked the other night, you know, how are our companies dealing with this? Everybody's spacing out now. Well, right. why isn't the West Wing? So they still, it, the mass thing, and now this whole, you know, going to social distancing, they don't follow any of their own guidelines. Well, well I'll tell you what, though, you have to respect that in a way, because they aren't preaching it. So it's not like they're preaching everybody go back to work. They're living what they're saying. Yeah. Well, they're so dying. They may die by what they're saying. Right? They, they may die by what they're saying. Not for us. But they're okay for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Check it. Yeah, they may die for what they're doing. But you know, uh, the thing is that I, I've never been to the White House, but I've been told that you think of it as being a very big place, and it is not. It's, you, it's actually there. it's a very tiny mansion. Yeah. It's it's not as impressive. Really? As you would think when you see it in person. A lot of times, if you see it from the side, they take a shot from the side and you don't see the wings on it. You, all you see is really the old building. And that thing mm -hmm. is, you know, I, they're bigger houses out in, uh, yes, out in Jamaica, absolutely. Queens. Yeah. You know. Didn't the Canadians burn it down once? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they yeah. did. Mm -hmm. We didn't learn our lesson. If uh, Trump gets it, they should say, here comes the Clorox. Yeah. yeah. Want to try the Clorox president? Here, yeah. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> or let's jam a light up your ass. Hey, hey, why don't you try some of this, uh, This uh, what was that p pill that, got to lose? that he was talking about, saying, what do you got to lose? Hey, take it. What do you got to lose? Yeah. Alex, what would you tell me? What would you like to take? Which We'll do one of your theories. So. Let's do either Clorox. <laughs> or or uh, uh, whatever that uh, oxy or whatever it was called. I can't remember what the name was. Oxyclean? Yeah. Oxyclean. <laughs> Come on, let's do it. I mean, hey, yeah. let's, let's see what happens. Give it to him. What? <laughs> At 1 o'clock uh, this afternoon, I was in downtown San Francisco. Yeah, uh, I know. I was uh, mm -hmm. doing a measure at the uh, Saks Fifth Avenue uh, department store. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, as I was waiting to get in, I looked up Powell Street and down Powell Street and took those two pictures that I sent to you. It is totally devoid of traffic. There, there was nobody uh, on there. I had never seen that area so uh, sparsely populated mm -hmm. as I did today. Now, when I went around the corner to go back to the bridge, yeah. uh, the, the Tenderloin had a, had a lot of people that weren't wearing masks. Uh, a lot of them were homeless, uh, but there, there were uh, there were a, some wearing and 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 a lot not. And uh, uh, then as I got back to the East Bay, it was bumper to bumper traffic. I, I couldn't believe the difference between the East Bay and San Francisco as far as the lockdown. And, Why do you uh, think that is? Uh, I you don't. I don't think the East Bay is obeying the uh, shelter-in-place uh, rules. Or do you think that maybe maybe there's a there's an idea that the problem is really in San Francisco and not in the surrounding areas? Uh, I don't know what the uh, case number of cases are in San Francisco or the number of people that may have died, uh, but uh, I you know I'm just very very surprised 
at the difference between the compliance in San Francisco and in the East well, Bay. Well, i got to tell you, the reason why California has so few cases compared to a lot of other parts of the country and compared to New York, there are two reasons why it's, it's better in California than it is in New York. Number one, they, when they first heard about the coronavirus, started closing everything down. They didn't wait for the first case to happen. They closed everything down. They closed down the bars first. Did they? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, there was uh, a bunch of stuff going on in the Castro where they closed the uh, gay bars, and they weren't very happy about it. Yeah, well, It was just like the uh, AIDS thing all over again. Well, the gays have never known what's good for them. Uh, and, and please don't get mad at me when I say that, but if you go back and look at the history of the AIDS crisis in San Francisco, it was gay groups and the gay publications that were fighting against the closing down of the bathhouses, which is the place where, where, the, where AIDS was being spread like crazy. And they actually got the, uh, the, the health commissioner, or whatever his title was, uh, kicked out of office because he wanted to close down those bathhouses. And uh, the publications fought him tooth and nail because who were their prime advertisers, the gay newspapers? Yeah, the bathhouses. Uh, yeah. And so, you know, this is a case of that same thing coming home to roost in a way where if they were complaining because, oh, we're closing them. Listen, people are, were, whoever did it was trying to save lives, okay? And that's the only thing they're guilty of. Um, but I, uh, you know, I mean, I, it, 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 I remember that story. And Randy Schultz, who died of AIDS and who was a great reporter and reported on this whole thing, told me about that. And he said it was just, it was the biggest lapse in judgment of any group. They, here they are complaining they're all dying of AIDS. What are we going to do about it? And then when somebody figures, well, we got to close the bathhouses, uh-uh, we don't want to do that. You know, how am I going to get laid? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, it, 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 he, literally, he was thrown out of office. I, Mil, Mer, Mervyn Silverman, I remember his name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and it reminded me of a play by Ibsen uh, called Enemy of the People. And it's all about a doctor who tries to tell the Jews in this town the bathhouses are causing you to get ill. And so they literally make him an enemy of the people. It's what the, what the play is all about. Uh, and um, I, all I could think of was that it was just living itself out in real time because Silverman was being literally thrown out of office by people who didn't want, uh, didn't want him to close down the bathhouses. So, you know, people don't know did what's good think, for them. Did they think that they were using condoms and they were being protective, or they just didn't believe it at all? Oh, they no, they knew they weren't using condoms, and they were, you know, they were in there getting high on, uh, on uh, what are those poppers and stuff like that? Yeah. And they didn't amyl nitrate. Amyl nitrate. They were didn't have any sense of judgment, okay? And that they, they you know, a guy. Uh, there was one guy. I saw an interview with one guy who says, "Oh, they're closing down the bathhouses. You know how many people I fucked last year in there?" And they said, "How many?" They said, 300. Oh shit! You know, and you say to yourself, "Well, to begin with, your ass must be really tired." <laughs> but <laughs> but your people, hmm? if they're on the other side of the glory hole, it could be a donkey. Yeah, it could be yeah. what? A, a donkey. You know, they they had these. I had a kid that worked for Bill me. Knows too much. Yeah, I had, he used to go to the bathhouses, and he would tell me uh, the, the stories, and he he liked the glory hole. Now, the glory hole was a hole in the wall where a guy would stick his member through, and there'd be somebody on the other side that would satisfy that member. And... Uh, it, it, in one way or another, yeah, yeah. But but, but the point is, the, the point is that when you hear somebody say something like that, you go, "Hey, listen, you know, that's a lot of people that you had sex yeah. with in there, and you multiply that by all the people that go in there, you know." I, yeah. And my argument about AIDS was is that the reason it was especially dangerous is it was guys having sex with guys, it, you know, uh, guys having sex with women. Women were always the well, I don't feel like it right now, or I might get pregnant. They were always, they were always, you know, you always had to kind of work at it, you know. But when it's guys having sex with guys, all, all 
caution is thrown to the wind. Everybody's having sex with everybody else, you know, Mm -hmm. and it's guys libidos with guys libidos. So, I mean, I know none of you guys here are gay, or I assume none of you are gay, but imagine if you were, and with the kind of libido you've had in your lifetime, and other guys having exactly the same libido, imagine what would happen in those those bathhouses. If you can't get laid gay, you're really fucked up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, right? yeah. I'd I say, mean, <laughs> I'd say that's true. Um, but you know, it it uh, it it, uh, and it's sad that I went out today, and I was surprised at how many people they had masks, but they were wearing them down here. They weren't wearing them across their face. Like they, I, I think it's like they had them down here just in case a cop came by and they could go oomph. You know, yeah. well, I wish I had the time and my and and a decent lens uh, and camera with me to uh, sort of document all, uh, the difference between those that were wearing and those that weren't, and those that weren't uh, socially distancing. And you, you know how in the middle of Union Square there's a, there's a park, a grassy knoll, I guess, mm-hmm. and there's a guy standing there in his underwear. Uh, putting on a um, uh, like a maid's uh, what, what do they call those things like a tutu, but just oh. uh, but just in the front, and you know, and he's wearing boxer shorts, and, and you know, I, he's he's just standing up against a tree. So I think that I, he was doing you know something else. <laughs> you know, uh, it, it was amazing what you saw there. Yeah, uh, but anyway, I mean, it, you know, it it. Uh, uh, I just don't understand people throwing caution to the wind. Okay, you know, and I go out. I'm worried. I come. I come back. I go. I hope I don't have it. I hope I don't have it. You know. You know. Come on. I didn't. What What did happen is I'm walking down the street, and one guy who has got a mask, but he's got it down here. Coughs. Hmm. And luckily, I was about, I would say, I was, was about 12 feet away from him, 9 to 12 feet away from him. But I'm going, I bet, I bet he just coughed to make me nervous, <laughs> you know? But, I mean, it's that, that kind of paranoia that you get, you know? And it's, uh, it's terrible. It's I'm trying terrible. to think of what the hell I'm going to do. I'm going to take a week off from Memorial Day Monday through the Friday. Mm-hmm. What is there to even do besides you just got to hope the weather's nice and you I stay would say home? I would say it's a big weekend. Okay, Memorial Day weekend is a big weekend, so I would suggest you go out and stand on your lawn. Yeah. <laughs> I mean like that's all you can do. I was thinking I said to my wife, you know, we can hopefully get some nice weather, put the top down on the vet and go for a go take a day trip. Well, yeah. you could take a ride. Not just to drive. Yes, yeah. we have the Shenandoah Mountains here. I could go up and down Skyline Drive. Yeah. That's all beautiful and nice for 12 minutes. And then you're like, yeah, wow, look, another beautiful view. Now what? Yeah. What do you do? I'll you... See Jeff. Yeah, Jeff. Sorry about that. Yes, Jeff. Muted. 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 Jeff. Uh, last week, we took a, a, a nice a nice weather Mm-hmm. And we get in a car and we just drove mm-hmm. for I don't know a couple of hours and turn around and came mm-hmm. back and uh, never got out of the car, yeah. never mm-hmm. went to any restaurants or anything yeah. like that. But it was kind of a nice thing to look around, and that's all. And uh, but that was how many you know. How many times am I going to do that? But the thing is, you can't even say, you know what, let's stop and we'll have a nice meal yeah. at the restaurant, no, right? You, you just got to turn around and come home. Go to Florida. You can. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah. Like, we were going to take my mom out today. Right. Get rain, so yeah. we may yeah. take her out tomorrow to Brooklyn. Just we drive around. Picnic. Well, we we do a picnic. Josh, how's everything out in your area? I mean, are you uh, infected? <laughs> Not that I know of. It's pretty status quo other than that. <laughs> other than Same that. as it was. Mm-hmm. You see the coronavirus toes? The what? Have you seen uh, this? Halloween candies? No. There's an actual report of this, uh, how it affects your feet. Coronavirus. I, was, I saw it on CNN.com. They showed pictures of these toes that are all red and like raw Ooh. looking and it's from oh, yeah. coronavirus. This is something yeah. new they're finding now. Yeah, they're like finding out new things. They're getting rashes. 
Well, they got that. That's the um, uh, the kids are getting these rashes, Mul which multi multi symptom something. But rather, it's yeah. it's something. It's Kawasaki's disease. Yes, Kawasaki's. Yeah, <clears throat> you know, I mean, this is this is the this is a gift that just keeps on giving. Yeah, this is scary. All the side effects. You know, I wish one night we would come on here and we wouldn't have to talk for the whole night about this. Just People like they were just amazed by it. Uh, I, you know, and and yet. We have to talk about it, because what else do we have to talk about? What? Have you seen any good movies lately? Seen any good movies lately? Exactly. <laughs> you can't talk about sports. What? What did you say, Phil? Brian. He's got his hand Oh, up. I, I, he, I got him. I See, I everything's <laughs> tiny for me now uh, here. Because the more people I put on, the tinier my picture gets. You know, this was my job at Camel. You know, take line one, take line two. Well, really? that's your job tonight. <laughs> yes, Brian. They say drive through graduations, celebrations forbidden in Santa Clara County. So all these graduations and these drives, these. So we do a cruise every Saturday morning. We there's Actually, there's almost 100 cars last week. And mm -hmm. we go up to, uh, uh, Kevin will know, we go down to uh, um, like San Martin and we go up Hecker Pass and turn around the Madonna, the Madonna, uh, the restaurant up there, we make a U-turn and we come back down. Really There's nice There's really a place called and Pecker Pass? Pecker, <laughs> yeah, Hecker Pass. Pecker. Not Pecker. Oh, oh Hecker it's Pass. Oh, Pecker too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, so now they're saying, they're saying that they're going to be banning these. And then they all these kids, you know, they're doing like drive-by birthdays and stuff like that. I hear they're not going to enforce it, but. Why they would they do banning. that? Why? Because no Gar Garcia got pissed off because he, the p police chief got pissed off because he says we're letting the uh, the prisoners out of jail. Now we're now we're going to allow these you know these caravans. And he was pissed off because the, the police and the fire were getting involved in them and everything else. Mm -hmm. Yes. And he yeah. says it doesn't make sense if we're letting the you know people out of jail and now yeah. we're letting people do all these, you know, uh, caravans for birthdays and everything else. So he says, I'm going to put a stop to it. Oh, yeah, Los Gatos Police Department, for instance, has led dozens of special driving birthday celebrations for children in the community since their country's, yeah, since the county's in place. So, yeah, they, yeah. Yeah, you're right. The police have been going through this. Hey. Yeah, oh, and they've been doing it for the nurses and doctors and everything else, too. And he mm -hmm. says, he wants it all stopped. Vernon, how's yeah, everything? Even, even for the nurses. How's yeah, everything? Even for the medical uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, oh, by the way, turn on the light there, uh, Brian. You're getting dark again. It's getting maybe that time of the evening. Um, uh, uh, Vernon, how's everything in your part, in your neck of the woods? Well, Kentucky is still doing better than the surrounding states. I know that. Yeah. And are you still kind of stuck in place? Yeah. Uh, the governor is talking about doing a phase one uh, starting next week. But yeah, it's only going to be manufacturing, construction, things like that, and See, you do have to you do have to follow guidelines even at that. So, you know, well, on on the fifteenth, uh, our governor's uh, uh, pause order elapses, and he said he's going to decide what to do then, and he may reopen the upper part of our state because he feels, as he put it, he said the difference between the upstate New York. And the city of New York, it's like they're two entirely different states, you know, with two entirely different set of, of rules. He said, if we see that things are going down, that we'll, we'll like slowly turn the valve on with, with uh, construction, things like that. He said, I seriously doubt we're going to be able to open up the valve in New York City. Uh, he said, we're not ready for that yet. Uh, but he said, you know, he, he believes in doing this very slowly. And if you see an uptick in cases, you back off. You, you turn the turn the valve down. You're still seeing 200 plus dead a day. That's a lot. We're, I mean, we that's were, crazy. We were 210 today, and I looked at Marjorie and I went, "Isn't that wonderful?" Right. <laughs> you know. But I mean, that's still 200 people a day losing their lives. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. I would like to see that number get down to one. You know, and I think we will see it go down to one eventually. But the question is, uh, how easy is it going to be for this thing to just ramp itself up? How's everything in your part of the woods, uh, Josh? Is it uh, is it a is it a problem or what? How big a problem is? Uh, it? No, I don't. I haven't noticed anything really. I mean, 
I don't think the cases are out of hand or going up or anything. Yeah. Uh, every, everything here is pretty pretty normal. I mean, there was a lot of cases, but yeah. I mean, I haven't noticed anything. No one's really been paying attention, so everyone's working basically. Yeah. Uh, by the way, we've been joined by Bree. Hello, Bree from Malaysia. Uh, how are you? Uh, yeah. Good. Uh, I don't know if we can take any more people, folks. If you try, I can maybe try and put you on, but uh, it's We should just, have a royal flush then. Uh, oh, really? Yes, we should have a. Is this a royal flush? Yeah, it, it looks is like it I really? Kind of okay. Well, thank you very much for telling me that. Okay. Um, uh, I no, no. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> my, my company would like everybody to wear a mask now, so, uh, mm. you know, we. No one gave a fuck for the first three months, and now that, you know, this shit's about to be over with, they'd like for you to wear a mask. So they, they seem to care all of a sudden. But uh, <laughs> other than that, I mean, pretty much been the same as it was before. Everything's just harder to do because it's more inconvenient. I wonder if they're not just tired of looking at each other's faces. Uh, could be. No, I wonder if I should do this so that when people can see... Are uh, the person talking larger than when we just have everybody in a small space? I can I can put this screen on. That's Josh, by the way. Um, <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, it, it, the the White House today finally decided it was a good idea, right, to um, uh, for everybody to wear a mask. Oh, really? Really? You finally, you finally figured that, that they, one out? Uh, Holy shit. <laughs> it was funny that they uh, held up hey, Pence's man. flight for an hour, right? Mm hmm. And they held it up for an hour and they let him take off. Now, last year, they held it up for an hour because of a drug dealer that was going to be at his destination mm -hmm. and they decided to cancel the flight altogether. Oh, oh really? So what the hell what the hell's the difference? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. What is this? Oh well, that, uh, I I thought that I, I could get you some on, kind but of an incident or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, it's like talking about two sides of their mouth. Well, it's Pence's uh, Pence's um, um, what? Somebody worked press very close secretary. with him, yeah. who and she was press secretary. Press secretary. She was dealing with the press and everybody else, and when they found out, they threw her off the plane. Not while it was in flight. <laughs> Uh, but she, they threw her off she the wasn't plane. on the plane. She wasn't scheduled to be on the plane, but they had staffers that had been in contact with her. So yeah. they pulled them off. Wow. But I, they have one picture of her, and she's talking to the press, and everybody in the press has a mask except for her. <laughs> right. <laughs> Saw that. She oh, my God. They, they decided yeah. finally, gee, I, I, they, we have a great idea. Why don't we all start wearing masks? Okay? Sounds like a good idea. But Novel idea. Novel idea. So maybe maybe yeah, Trump. Uh, hmm? What? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean that's what I was saying. Was like you know my company wants everyone to wear masks when they work now, and mm -hmm. they got quite a bit of pushback, you know, from you know people who don't want to want to do it, and they're like, well, you know, we don't have any choice. This is a government order. And then what do you do when you get people who say, oh, okay, it's a government order, except. The president of the United States apparently doesn't have to wear one. The vice president of the United States doesn't have to wear one. And half the members of Congress don't have to wear one, but I have to fucking wear one? It was sitting at my desk and my office. I mean, give me a break, you know? I mean, that's the problem with that kind of stuff. Vernon? Vernon? Well, here's the thing that people are losing sight of the fact, and that is wearing a mask doesn't prevent me from getting coronavirus. Right. Wearing a mask says I care about you. And, and people get confused about that. You know, wearing a mask says, I care about you. Yeah. Well, Trump doesn't care about anybody but himself, that's so right. that's why he doesn't want to wear a mask. Uh, well, he's not alone. He's not alone. It's the only American who feels that way. Why wouldn't Absolutely. the mask stop spittle from, uh, you know, from you inhaling, you know, uh, the vapor or something from somebody with corona? Why, why would it only protect others and not... And not you from wearing, you know, when you wear it's it. It's carried because by most, droplets. Most of the face, you can't of the face a masks, droplet for your mask. Most of the face masks do not do not block those kind of particles. They do, they will not block it. It will not prevent it from getting to you. But 
It so will stop it, saliva droplets that well, are flying uh, through uh, the oh, air. Wait a minute. Here was, the, here, wait a minute. Here, here was the theory. Here was the theory science. about the mask. Yeah. The mask is not particularly 100% good at getting every particle that comes your way. But if you're both wearing masks, you're protecting each other. In other words, the protection is better that way. Um, but if somebody spits on your mask, the virus can get through. But yeah. if you spit on your mask from the inside, the virus doesn't get. I mean, the, the virus is not going to travel 12 feet in the air. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But you don't think some of the uh, I, I don't know what it is vapor or, or particles of uh, moisture uh, from someone in the room coughing, uh, so that they can. I understand they can travel what 23 feet. You don't think that, uh, you know, the person wearing a mask would be safer than uh, the, the one that isn't? You know, well, maybe yeah, I don't, you know, the one you know, you know, uh, wouldn't stop it, but, you know, like those N95s and, you know, the heavier, the heavier ones. The N95s don't work any better than the surgical mask. Are they tougher to wear? I, I, I had oh. just a regular surgical mask on for the first time because I haven't been out last week when I went out to the store and it is my glasses fog up when I right. walk when I'm in the, is that so those so N95s fast. are they more dense and they I mean you're breathing in your own hot air and yeah. that's really uncomfortable it is it's not comfortable Plus, technically an N95 has to be form fitted if you want to use it right yeah. Well, how do you form fitting? Okay, you have, you have, you have to shake on your Well, the, N, uh, the N95, the N95 is is not. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It, the N95 is supposedly not that much better than the other one, than the surgical it's, it's, mask. Why is it's hospital? certified to take 95 percent of the particulates out. Yeah, that's all it is. But yeah. all and it has to be fitted work. because we used to have to do that for our uh, respiratory program. Yeah, and. Yeah, that's all they are. They're just certified for 95% of the So how, how do you fit it? The workers are wearing them, uh, you know, and, and that's the one that they want. Uh, that's not that's true exactly. Want, it's not true, true, true exactly, Phil. Uh, hospital workers, many of them wear the surgical mask. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it depends on the environment they're going into. Yeah. They'll wear sur surgical mask in the hallway, but if they have to go into a, a room with something, you know, with somebody that's live, they're going to wear an N95 or something more. Yeah, and a shield maybe. The, the reason the N95 yeah, is so shield. valuable is because they need them in in those kind of environments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, that, and they, that's they, been in the, the beginning the, the, they were used up for everything. Mm -hmm. I've well, got Indian N95 right, well, sure downstairs. Like, yes, well, you know, like uh, Josh, saying, Josh, like Rob was saying, that was kind of the issue with a lot of the people, you know, in my workplace is, you know, you already have to wear the long sleeve a long pants flame retardant uniform, which is heavier material than most uniforms. You know, you've added this max mass now. You have to have the safety glasses with the foam insert so nothing can get through. And then you wear the mask, and your glasses do nothing but fog up. They bought every kind of safety glasses in the world. They all fog up in 20 seconds. And I've heard every anecdotal thing you can do to them to make them not fog up. And, I mean, believe me, there's 300 people working in there that have all oh, tried well, it. Oh, there, there you go. Uh, 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 Anti-fog. I mean, mm. we look like we're going to fucking space. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're bringing back you're bringing back nightmares of my job, oh, yeah. Josh. That's exactly <laughs> what we used to go through. Yes. Cycle. You gotta you gotta defog your goggles and 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 stuff uh, to to keep. Yeah. But I, I'm wondering whether I should wear my motorcycle goggles. You know, uh, and uh, that's what I use for a mask is my does. my motorcycle uh, face. You know, thing. Yeah, you know, the balaclava like thing. The one that yeah. comes over uh, your face. You know. Bree yeah. has his hand up. Bree. Hand up. One of the things that cold. this does is. It reminds you not to touch your mouth because yeah. if I have this That's on the and I touch a surface and I go like, oh, you know, like that, then I'm more likely to get it. Or if I go like that, but with mm -hmm. this on, it reminds me, don't touch your face. You know? uh, how many? I, how, how many so of you? That, how, that's one of its advantages. How many of you, when you're going out, wear um, gloves? Oh, I do. Yeah, I do. I don't anymore. I used to. I actually, but. Uh, I, when I was in Union Square today, mm -hmm. I had to touch the elevator in the Union Square garage and a couple of other surfaces. Mm -hmm. so I finally got in the car. I took the gloves off and threw them away. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. Actually, I like the gloves. Actually, I stole these from a hospital. Uh, every time I went, oops, well, they, they just it's fell apart there. on me. Uh, every time I, um, uh, every time I uh, went into a hospital, uh, and I saw and I saw they had them, I just copped a couple, you know. And so I have a whole supply of them. Although Marjorie also bought some as well. Uh, but uh, these are uh, these are t these broke on this one broke on me. Look at that. Yes, sometimes they break on my uh, thumbs, Alex. Well, I also the I think I took these from the small size. Uh, <laughs> thing, so, but anyway, we have some Marjorie bought about fifty of them. So, uh, does Phil have uh, some scuba diver advice, like how you keep your mask from not fogging up? You spit in it, uh, but you know you've got the salt water, so you you use spit. Yeah, you but you're talking. Yeah, yeah, you have spit on your glasses. That's what you'd yeah. be doing. Yeah. I'm going to try that. Some stuff for my <laughs> you know what I found is bad about, what I hate about the mask. This, so. the, yeah. To be honest with you, what I hate yeah. about the mask uh, is that uh, uh, I, I find that I have, um, I kind of go get out of breath after I walk for a while with it on. Yeah, because, because it's, it's, it's harder it's to breathe. You're not getting yeah. as much oxygen in as you would yeah. normally. You're trapping in your CO2 is what it is. Mm -hmm. is, is that what it is? Yeah, you're yeah. trapping CO2, and you're just yeah. breathing it back in. No. I, read, I read something today about uh, masks can cause other respiratory problems. Uh, I, I don't know if I can well, find listen, the article. Listen, here. Phil, it, it can cause respiratory problems, but I hear that you can get very bad respiratory problems from COVID. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. so, you know, oh, we can't do the mask because that gives you respiratory problems. Yeah, yeah well, COVID does too. Ventilators will do it too. They stretch out your lungs, but what are you going to do? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I just I just hope some of these guys that work with bad breath realize that it's coming from them. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, what what do they do? Take a, a tic tac or something? Uh, you know, and put it in the mask. I don't know. Then they've got to find Reminder. out. They got to smell their own breath. So, you know, I know I got a friend that's got bad breath, and I've never said anything to him. Uh, hey, you know. Phil. Yeah. Phil, you got a CPAP. <laughs> you got a CPAP, don't you? Yeah. Have you ever had uh, garlic in a in a CPAP night? And the next night, you remember what you had the night before. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. My garlic days are over. There you go. Didn't they say they could use CPAP machines as as ventilators if they had to? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Worst case yep. scenario. Huh. Yeah. Uh, uh, I had an extra one. I was going to send to Elmwood. Oh, well, Elmhurst. Two of them. Yeah, Elmhurst. Elmwood. Boy, I'm Elmwood. I, <laughs> Elmwood. I get that. Yeah, Elmwood's a jail out uh -huh. here. <laughs> I'm glad I never had to use just one. Just like of those. America, you know. Yeah. It, just, just like America. If you want to check into the hospital, bring your own shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm here with my own. Bring your own fucking ventilator. Yeah. Especially and then you pay either, a, right? And then you pay a court fee because they're going to charge you if you <laughs> use it there. Yeah, exactly. we didn't use theirs. Just you gotta pay the court fee. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Anybody think we're gonna get the two thousand dollars payment now? Huh? I'm hoping. I'm still waiting on my first check. Oh yeah, the uh, the Democrats want two thousand dollars a month. Oh, let's to get go. that one. That's gonna be good. Huh? <laughs> Shit, like nobody will go to work. Sounds like Andrew <laughs> Yang all over again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, true, true. Free well, money. Well, I I often said that we should probably pay people not to work. Uh, because there, you know, there's so many people looking for jobs, and so there's so many jobs that aren't available uh, for people. Cool. So if some people don't want to work, they just want to be bums. But pay them to do it. Just don't don't come well, to work. Do Let somebody work who we'll wants do. to They're work. They're called farmers. Yeah, <laughs> they are called farmers. <laughs> I thought they're called senators. Yeah. Senators, yeah. congressmen. You know what they're saying? Since the older people are the high risk, then you know what they should do? Why don't they just roll back Social Security to like 60 years old or 58 and let them collect that. full now and take them out of the workforce? I, right? I, listen, yeah. I've been yelling for years that they keep raising the, the Social Security <laughs> year when you can get it. I think it's up around 66 now. And I they really, so when all yeah. along, they should have been lowering yeah. it because try and get a job when you're 60 years old. Yeah. Just try. You know, you go in and no uh, this 25-year-old uh, person in HR at the company <laughs> looks at you like you're from outer space. Yeah. Welcome to Walmart. Five years. Huh? Did you jump at 60, Alex? What? 
Didn't you get a job at 60? I was very lucky. I kept working until I was 74. Yeah. And then they found out I was 74. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got the one I have now at 59. Huh? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I was 59 when they hired me. Yeah. That's very rare. You yeah. Know, he uh, doesn't have to color his hair. He, well, he looks about a 45, you know? Oh, you uh, know, speaking of hair, yeah. I got my clippers today. Oh, did you use them? Not yet. Not yet. Well, Does it look like I still used them? Well, you had the hat on. So. I guess they're pretty easy to use, right? She just goes, simple. Nyarm, 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 Very simple. Nyarm. Do it live. Get Marjorie out here. You should do, do it, it on tap. Ready to use <laughs> she doesn't want to stay up this late. She doesn't want to I'll stay up this late. Manscape with the same clippers you use on your head? What? Are you going to manscape with you the same clippers? You know something? I got to tell you a story, and I don't want to be, I don't want to be too graphic about this. But as I've gotten older, I mm. have less pubic hair. Really? Yes. Probably, I, oh. I, I don't. I have barely any hair under my arms now. Some, mm. a little bit, just uh, angel hair. Oh. That's about it. Ears. But huh? It's What's just like no. Ears? It's gone to my nose. <laughs> <laughs> and in my ears. That's a yeah. mustache, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and um, I shaved today. Because I took a shower today for the first time in a year, and uh, I, uh, I I shaved today, and I kept thinking maybe I shouldn't shave. You know, I should do like like look at Bree. Bree's got the got the indoor beard. You know, a lot of the people my wife works with, she does little meetings with them on the on on uh, Skype and on uh, FaceTime and Zoom. And uh, they're all growing beards because they got nothing to do. You're sitting around the house. Why do you have to shave? I don't see how you guys do it. I, you know, one week, one, maybe four or five days of growth, I start playing with the, a little bit that's under here with my lip and, and things like that. I can't stand uh, having the face hair. Uh, go another week and you won't mind it. Yeah. It's right, right. at that week to two that's weeks right. that you mind it. Do you know yeah. where the first people in the world that grow beards? The minute they don't have to work, women. T no, TV yes. people, <laughs> TV guys. <laughs> guys are on TV. They, yeah. they don't have to work. Right. They, they meet. Look at what look what Letterman did. He went <clears throat> nuclear. Yeah, you know. Uh, but I mean, uh, it, it, it it was always a thing that after a couple of weeks, if you're not going to work for a couple of weeks, every day you've had to shave because you had to go out and do that TV show. You know, you had to shave, shave, shave. And the minute you don't have to, that's the last thing you want to do. I mean, um, I mean, how unpleasant is shaving anyway? Oh, I hate it. Sucks. You know, like raw. It. It's a novelty for me because mm -hmm. I have had a beard my whole life. Yeah. And I made it a goatee. Yeah. And so for me, having to shave my whole face is a novelty right now. I do it in the shower. I got one of those shower mirrors. and Yeah, but uh, aren't you getting tired of it? I mean, no, it, it, I really it's like a rather it's a rather yeah. torturous thing. I mean, you're running a blade over your face. You know, I'm a chef in, in my in my lifetime, razors. See, we found something else to talk about. Razors have uh, have um, uh, caused me. Um, I'm a member of Dollar Shave well, Club. When, no, when oh. I was when I oh, was a really? kid, the first razor I ever used was one of those that uh, had a blade, and you drop the blade into the thing on the and top, then, and then you unscrew it, it, screw it, it, screw oh, it and then well, had to shave with it, and then then up. then you would take little pieces of paper where the where you cut yourself, and you would put them here. Yeah. And so, yeah. somebody yeah. once said, yeah. you know, after you after you were through shaving, you'd look at the floor, and there were a whole bunch of little Japanese flags down there. When I you was a straight razor. Yeah, but, you know, the, but, and, but then. And you have a leather belt. That, well, then um, a Gillette came out. I think it was with the Exacta. It was the first one that was had a blade that was kind of really nicely honed. And it didn't. The Aftra. The Aftra. Yes. Oh, yeah, not, Aftra. Aftra. The, Aftra. The, the, Aftra. The, <clears throat> A F T R, uh, the Atra, right? Atra. Atra is the union. Yeah, yeah, Atra, yeah. <laughs> the Atra, and yeah. and and, uh, but it still cut your face. So then they came out with two blades, and so Saturday Night Live did a parody and said, "We yeah. have three blades, but for even a smoother shave, we've got four blades. Well, for an even smoother <laughs> shave, we got five blades." And we all laughed our heads off and thought it was the funniest yeah. thing they ever did on Saturday Night Live. How many blades do we use now? 
Yeah. Five. Five, yep. something. Five yeah. is the minimum. And actually, Gillette has gone back to two, is it, or three? There's a new one they've got that they say will just not cut you at all. It's for rough I faces found, and stuff. Alex, I found you cannot go backwards with blades. I use a five blade, mm -hmm. and every once in a while, if you get into a hotel late and you forgot your razor, yeah. the, we'll give you a big razor with <laughs> one blade in it. And oh, it's, okay. it's like, uh, you know, you're, you're, cu you're a cutter, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know you're part of that, I think, is because they're so light. Like, I find that the handles, the ones that weigh more, it yeah. seems they're easier than the big, the big shavers are, are like, Plastic, plastic flimsy yeah. <laughs> and it really is harder to pull through your beard it seems in the 70s that's all we had and yeah. and they worked and and we lived with it but yeah. now i can't go back i got a razor that's got a vibrator built into it yeah uh, yeah yeah i have one too <laughs> you do that, that's why i'm Jeff. sorry that i don't have i can't shave my pubes You're bored anymore with this one <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, uh, a, I'm gonna go get something to drink <laughs> <laughs> I trim all the time. Yeah. Uh, you trim, I trim all. I trim once in a while. Well, yeah. I use I I, I, I uh, now. How many of you? How many of you? I I do this. How many of you actually shave in the shower? I do. And do you use a mirror? I yes. I don't. I don't, I don't use. A mirror. I, don't use I a have mirror. one of those mirrors you fill with the water. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Keeps the temperature so it doesn't fog. Yeah. Comes with a little squeegee. You squeegee down. Little, you, little, little, little squeegee so yeah. that you can get a little water wiper. off of it. Yeah. I've gotten so good with uh, shaving in the shower without a mirror that I don't uh, have to worry about making excuses for one sideburn too short, one sideburn. Well, no, no, I, I've I've got. I, I, I do it by I, I do it by braille. I do it by braille. I mean, yeah. uh, then yeah. I, when I get out, I then trim it a little more, a little closer, because well, I'm not going to be I'll that do, accurate. Alex, I don't know how you do it with a goatee because you know. You uh, I used to. It, it stops when you get to the when you get to the hair. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, and then what you do is after you after you get out of the shower, you take the razor blade and kind of finish yeah. it off and trim it up and everything like that. You know. Yeah. But uh, now I'm going to get be getting this uh, hair cutter, and so I guess once we learn how to use it, there's no need for me to go to the barber anymore. Piece of cake. Get a Floby, Alex. Huh. Yeah, the flow bee. The flow bee. I don't think the flow bee gets that close. Does the flow get that close? You know, what is that the one that hooks up to a vacuum cleaner? Yeah. Yeah. And it's got different. Yeah, but, but now with the Dyson, you can't exactly do use that. Although, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'll suck the, bra the gray matter out. The, the suck o -matic. Yeah. How you doing there, Jeff? Jeff's been I'm very quiet good. tonight. Been very quiet. Very good. Very quiet. Uh, you know, I, I trim every day. Really? I know you guys can't believe it. Well, that. you have a great beard. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm jealous beard. of you because I try to grow on out here and it just doesn't it doesn't all come in right, you know? And and if I could grow one like yours, I would have one like that because yeah. it, the, your beard is just phenomenal. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, I tried it in my 20s, and then there were, like, spots that didn't fill in. And, yeah, uh, yeah. That's why I don't do it. Yeah. Mine, it's, mine got all white, so I was like, enough with it. It was thick, but I didn't want it white. Really? Okay. Kevin's really 29. He just, the beard makes him look. <laughs> well, I, I was going to say, another great beard is Kevin's. I mean, Kevin's yeah. got a great yeah. beard. Um, but it's also made him money for years, too. You know, That's right. Christmas time. I'm thinking about shaving this year today. either, I guess. Huh? Yeah. You, can you imagine no Santa this year? What? There'll no, be no uh, Santa this year, I'll bet. There'll be no Santa this year. Yeah. You can't, uh, you Probably know. Not. You can't so, sit on his lap. Yeah. That's true. You imagine if you do it. I just don't you understand don't how anything that we... That or I that charge we, twice as much. How many of you watch like an old TV show and a bunch of people standing together and you go, Well, that's not right. You know, all yeah, of a sudden, I'm yeah. starting to, yeah. I don't like it. Yeah, but I mean, I, I, um, I just don't know how we're going to get back mm -hmm. to the way we were. I don't think we are. I think we I, are going to have to alter our whole way of living. Yeah. 
Uh, you know, I, I, being downtown today, I'm saying to myself, you know, it would be really nice to make reservations at a restaurant for Mother's Day. But, <laughs> uh, you know, I, and I saw Morton's, uh, which is a steakhouse, and Morton says uh, to go, that they're doing, they're doing meals to go. So, yeah, yeah. You know, that's cool. That's an idea. Yeah, Morton's and bring it home. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, Morton's but you know what nice I got to tell you, we yeah. order we order dinner. We've tried a couple times from this restaurant that we go to in our neighborhood, uh, uh, and and what they do is they make it up and then you go over and pick it up. Okay, mm -hmm. either that or uh, e e did we? Oh, we, yeah, we picked it up this time. Did we pick I, it up? Uh, oh no, that now now you have to actually you have a company. They have a company that delivers for you for for them. Do you trust those guys? What you know, they're not going to do. You know. You remember uh, Larry David's show where the, the guy was eating his shrimp? <laughs> you know? Oh, I did that all the time when I worked for the Chinese Food Express in San Rafael, California. Mm -hmm. And I was delivering the food, and we had a, uh, we had a, a staple opener and yeah. then a staple gum we would take with us on the trip, and then we'd eat a couple of the fried prawns, and then staple would come right back oh, up. Oh, my God. <laughs> and the funny part was the guys who ran the place Gave us all the food we wanted, but no, we yeah. had to steal some of it from the bags we were taking out Just to these people. Yeah. The I used stuff. to do the same thing. I delivered drugs for a drugstore back in the oh, day. Oh, I thought you were a drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Drugs for a drugstore? Yeah. Yeah, I used to drive their car around and go deliver drugs all over the neighborhood. Uh, Ray Renati, I don't think we can get you on here, but let's see. Let's see. This is, then. this is playing. This is playing it dangerous, uh, 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 oh because if I put them on, are we going to be able to see? Ray, would you please show us your picture? Uh, camera, no camera, uh, and Dave Shuck is calling. I can't do Dave. I'm sorry. Uh, are you there, Ray? Ray, are you there? Yeah. Ray, see his hand. Ray's always got some kind of technical problem. Left. Okay. He left. Yeah. And yeah. Dave Shuck, I would love to have you on, but, uh, you know, that means putting on a uh, 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 two more people. And it kind of what it does is it screws up Skype. Skype has a problem with that. What do you do after a jackpot? Doesn't. What do I do after a jackpot? Is that mother load? Mother load, yeah. Money and leave. Yeah, yeah. We have we have a bunch of we have we put, uh, my my logo for that is some sperm. Yeah. Did you hear they're finding COVID in sperm COVID now? They're finding COVID in sperm. Yep. In sperm, yeah, I saw yep. that. Well, so much for watching wanna, porn where she. So much for watching porn. So much for watching porn where she swallows it. You know. Not anymore. Yeah, who 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 thought to look there? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, and they said I was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh boy, what, what, what are we into here? I mean, our whole lives have just gone. To begin with, the the, the NFL is saying we're going to have a practice. We're going to we're going we're putting our teams together for this year. What are they, what are they thinking? You know, they put out the Thank schedule you. for the ball. They put out the schedule for the fall. Anyway. Yeah, tell me about that, Charlie. They put the schedule out for the fall, yeah. and... Yeah. It ain't happening. We'll see if any games they play. What is it, a wish list or something? Is it a... Is it a um... I'm excited, but I mean, I want them to play. It, 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 isn't, so, it isn't so much... It isn't, it isn't so much a wish, wish list as it is a bucket list. <laughs> you know... From are going to be getting some sort of minimum salary, and uh, do you think that they're going to go on bread lines and starve? You know, one guy he's making twenty five million a year, and then all of a sudden he gets paid two hundred thirty five thousand. My heart's breaking for him. If he didn't save yeah. some of it, screw him. Well, they never. How is he going to get by those three months? <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, but I mean, uh, what's going to happen to uh, sports? It's gonna it's gonna be a while before they can figure out how to handle that one, they're and trying. then and then movie theaters forget it they're through they're gone. Oh, you know Opening what? I'm you know what I'm reading how they're gonna open no, colleges? How, how no, are they gonna open colleges exactly? Well, yeah, they can do college by oh, you know video. Yeah, and they're and they're just what they're gonna do. I was talking to some of the colleges that I work with, and they're really just going to do a lot of they're gonna rotate. 
online and virtual. This way they can keep the campus not, you know, 50% maybe capacity and, and rotate people in and out. You'll be on campus, you'll be virtual. Well, what, what I heard is that they would do they studies on camera. Okay. Learning online, and then there are things virtual. like laboratories, you know, that they do on campuses, whether it's a theater laboratory or whatever, and everybody there will just work further apart from each other. Right. One guy gets a desk, you know, with the, with the burner and everything instead of two people sharing the burner, you yeah. know, the... Yeah, you know how they uh, in, a, in some of those science depends, labs. You know, some programs can can yeah. that you know more theoretically based can be entirely online, but mm -hmm. there are the practical ones where you need to have them in there. And the only gonna, thing that's wrong with it, and Tony had his hand up, so I want to go to him yeah. next. But you know what I was going to say? Yeah. I was reading online quickly with the movies. Uh, my aunt has a house in Warwick. You know what? That's doing. What might do good. They still have drive-ins movie theaters. Oh like, yeah, we well, have one here. Yeah, but the thing, is, the thing is, the thing is, you may have drive-ins may make a comeback, but I don't think that movie companies are necessarily going to be making films to supply them. That's the problem because they want to supply this whole this whole thousands and thousands of theaters across the country. Um, <clears throat> it's it's going to be interesting to see how all of this plays itself out and how it changes the way we live our lives with, with the drive-in let's see a classic movies like that drive-in uh the the speaker yeah, that hangs on your on your window is the sound there's no no know. they have fm now they have never how how when's the last time you went to a drive-in theater I phil never, back I in 1955 uh, maybe by yeah, by 19 by 1965 or, or 70 they were they pumped it in through your radio yeah oh, they did not, 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 yeah. Right? The yeah. only AM radios in those, you know. Uh, well, when the last time I went, maybe it didn't, was in the late uh, uh, FM, and they do it in stereo. Yeah, which they couldn't Remember? do with those with those things. And by the way, if you forgot, I worked at drive-in theater, and I can't tell you how many windows were ripped no, out by people who forgot to take those <laughs> things <laughs> off they of their out. window. <laughs> Remember, remember Ricky Gervais? He just blasted all of Hollywood for being so insignificant. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, now I think they're going to see how insignificant they really are. Well, they're going to have to find a new way of distribution, and that's going to be directly to the home. That's going to be yeah. it. You know, the yep. next, the big James Bond movie will come out, and it will be released day and date with whatever release they were going to do in the theaters for your yeah. home. And yeah. that's fine. That's great. Yeah, you know, great. you've got you've got a you've got a sixty five inch screen and nobody kicking yeah. the seat in back of you. you know? I think I have five people at my yeah. house. I have one hundred and twenty eight yeah. inches. Yeah, exactly. We're, Greg, we're, we're so we're uh, we're social animals though. We need to uh, herd together. And you know I, what we get from a movie theater that shared experience. That's like correct. That, that is abs you're absolutely right, Phil. Absolutely that's right, like but but so still, awesome. but still, that's not going to be available to us. That's so right. you know, five people and I made twenty one dollars, twenty one dollars for for the movie for yeah. five people. I'm good with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Costco popcorn. Yeah. yeah, saving money. Yeah. yeah, you are saving money in the end. And um, uh, but uh, oh, and now we have uh, we have. By the way, we have HBO Max starting in a few days. So. That's How about Rocky Horror Picture Show? I found out I get it for free. I get it for I get it for free though because I have AT and T service on my phone, so uh, they will give it to me for free. Isn't that nice? What is it? If you have AT and T service, it, it, you get you get you get uh, HBO Max. If you have if you have HBO on your cable oh, system okay. HBO, and you subscribe so. to it, then uh, then the HBO Max is just going to cost. It's just going to you just put in your uh, your password and name for your AT&T account and you can watch HBO Max. Anyway, hey, that's it uh, for this week. Gosh. Yeah. Uh, it's, gosh, it's been fun and we even talked about stuff that had nothing to do with the coronavirus and had to do with uh, cuts and scrapes. Yeah. You know? Uh, uh, thank you so much. Uh, what a great crowd here. All ten of you. Wow. Uh, uh, Brian and uh, Josh and uh, 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 oh boy, I'm just out of it. Oh, now somebody's trying to call. Oh, oh, there, there's the kid. Okay, uh, Charlie, thank you, thank you, Phil, thank you, Jeff, thank you, Kevin, thank you, Rob, thank you, Tony, thank you, 
uh, Bree, and thank you, Vernon. Boy, I got them all. I'm not that old a guy, all right? Okay, anyway, that's it for tonight. I want to thank you so much for joining us, uh, everybody. Uh, why don't you give a big wave goodbye to the folks out there, and I will give you a wave goodbye as well. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our <laughs> citizen panel for tonight. And uh, I don't know who's trying to call, but don't stop it. Stop it. I don't want to talk to you, okay? How do I, how do I get this thing? I want to, I'm, I'm not going to, I'm going to hang up on you again. They keep trying. I don't understand. Uh, let me see here. Quit Skype. Okay, that's what I want. Quit Skype. There we go. Okay, that's it for tonight. That's all she wrote. Uh, Jack Bishop is next. He's here with a show called The Intersection. Uh, he'll be taking your calls as well. In the meantime, I will see you again. Let's see here. It's next Tuesday night, 9 8, 10.30 Eastern Daylight Time. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her to keep pedaling. Tell her I love her, okay? Bye. Bye.